Happy Friday, everyone. I'm Liz from Learn Robotics, and welcome to episode number six of Learn Robotics Live. In this week's episode, we're going to be playing around with Arduino and some analog sensors to control a servo motor. So if you're interested in electronics and prototyping, stay tuned. We have an awesome episode here for you today on Learn Robotics Live. The things about doing these videos is you just get to see my face. <laughs> So all you're going to need for this project is an Arduino Uno, a breadboard, some jumper wires, a potentiometer, and a servo motor. I'm going to leave a link in the show notes below for a kit that you can pick up to try this project yourself. You can also head on over to tinkercab.com, sign in, and create a free account where you can build this project in simulation and try it out. Let's head over to the computer and I'll show you how it's set up. So once you're logged into Tinkercad, you're going to need to drag over a breadboard and an Arduino Uno. And then we're going to get ourselves a potentiometer. So let's find that, drag that over. And a potentiometer has three pins. We've got ourselves a ground pin. Go ahead and update the wire color. We have our signal pin, which is going to be connected into A0 on the analog pin. And then we've got ourselves a power pin. Change that to red. So once you have it wired up, Make sure that you select, if you're in simulation, that you have a 10K pot. You can use a 5 or 10K pot if you're doing this um, with real hardware. And then we'll go into the code. And all we need to do is set up the pin. So the pin that the potentiometer is on is A0. And we're going to set the pin mode to an input. Pin mode for the pot is an input. And then let's go ahead and initialize the serial monitor, serial.begin. And the baud rate is 9600 baud. And we can do a print line just to say that we are ready. All right, that looks pretty good. Now, the purpose of this project is to read in the position of the wiper blade on the potentiometer. And to do this, we're going to use the analog read command that's built into Arduino. So let's head into the loop method and do an analog read of the potentiometer. And we need to store this into a variable. So we'll do this inside of a reading variable. And let's delay for one second so that we don't bombard ourselves with so many readings. And what we can do is we can print this out to the serial monitor. So we've got the potentiometer reading and let's print out the actual reading. And that looks pretty good. If it seems like I'm going too fast in this tutorial, head on over to the Learn Robotics blog. I'll leave a link below this video where you can check out my four steps to writing any Arduino program. This is great for beginners or if you haven't been using Arduino for a while, just as a refresher, I'll show you how to get started with Arduino and all the steps you need to write any Arduino program. So what we can do is we can go ahead and start the simulation. And you'll see that we've got a pot reading of zero if we're all the way to the left. And this is a 10-bit signal. So we go to the middle, and we've got a reading of about 511. And then fully to the right, we can get a reading 1023. That looks pretty good. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the potentiometer readings, which is a 10-bit reading from zero to 1023, and we're going to convert those readings into an angle measurement that we can send to our servo motor to control the position. So let's head on over to the computer and let's add that in. All right, so let's go ahead and stop the simulation, close out the code menu, and we'll bring in a micro servo. And let's go ahead and rotate this around, bring it over to our breadboard, and then let's connect all the pins so that we can use the breadboard. And if you forget to do this, the servo won't actually be connected. So when you wire everything up, you'll notice that things don't work the way you expect them to. Okay. All right, and now we can head into our code and we can use the servo class. So let's go ahead and include the servo.h header file and we can create ourselves a servo object. I'm just going to call this servo 
um, 9. And servo 9 is because it's connected to the servo 9 pin on the Arduino. So we can do servo 9.attach on 9. And now what we can do is we can convert our potentiometer readings into an angle measurement using the map function on Arduino. So we'll just call this position map of the reading from the potentiometer from 0 to 1023 to 0 to 180. And we'll go ahead and we'll write this position to servo 9. And we'll give ourselves a 50 millisecond delay just to reach the position. And we can go ahead and we can print this out to the serial monitor so that we have both the potentiometer reading and the servo reading. So we'll call this servo position. And we'll do position. And that looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and clear the serial monitor. And we can go ahead and run some tests. So you'll see we've got the servo at 28 degrees because we're sitting at 164. Let's bring this all the way to zero. You'll see we're at zero degrees. Let's try 90 degrees about halfway. And then 180. And that looks pretty good. And you'll notice that we have a little bit of latency just because we've added in some extra delays in the loop. But for the most part, this looks pretty good. If we were to take out these print statements and this one second delay, it would be a little bit more responsive. So let's go ahead and stop the simulation. I'm just gonna cut this out and run the simulation and we can get more of a real time position of the servo when we change the wiper blade on the potentiometer. So in this project, we took the analog reading from our potentiometer and then we mapped the reading from an 8-bit signal to a degree measurement, which is used to control the position of a servo motor. You can use a ton of different analog sensors to do a similar process and create a variety of different projects and prototypes. So if you enjoyed this episode of Learn Robotics Live, then you're going to love my online Arduino for Beginners course. It's designed to be the only Arduino course you'll ever need. It'll get you building, wiring, and creating your own custom prototypes using a variety of sensors and components. So if you want to be able to create devices like I just did in a matter of minutes, head on over to learnrobotics.org slash course and check out Arduino for Beginners today. And that's all I have for this week's episode of Learn Robotics Live. You can catch the replay. There's a link in the description below. And I will see you next week for Learn Robotics Live episode number seven. I'm Liz from Learn Robotics. Have an awesome weekend. Be sure to go out and try out this project on your own. And if you enjoyed it, smash that thumbs up button and I'll see you guys really soon.